Hey guys, what's up? Chris here. Um, just going to show you a little stove, a little alcohol stove I made out of the tea lights again. Uh, it's just got some wick inside of it. It's got one in the middle that's arched, just a little section. And it's two tea lights and they're not completely stacked. They're pushed in together kind of like a pop can stove. But I have this little stand right here because I noticed that it burns a lot better when it's real close because it plumes out somehow and it doesn't just come out in volcano looking cloud or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this for you. I haven't named it, but I have a tea light, just an empty tea light full of uh, alcohol that I'm going to pour in here. Uh, if anybody knows how much one of these holds, like an ounce, milliliters, I need to get a measuring cup or, some, or a measuring device. So what I'll do is I'll prime it. I'm actually going to time this one this time. Oops. I like this little Visine bottle because I can drip little drips on it. And I got a one cup of water that I got out of the tap about maybe five minutes ago. Now we're going to put the pot on. Three second difference. Alright, so we'll sit here and we'll watch this and see what this does. See how it's cleaning out like that. So we'll sit here and we'll wait for it to boil. I think I got a boil time of around 5 minutes and 45 seconds, but we'll see how this goes. Also, um, I made a new uh, pot stand, as you might have noticed. Uh, completely different design, sort of, except for this was my old one. Just like a Campbell soup can or whatever I split in half and all that. But uh, this one, this is kind of the design of my new one. So, like this, it's got slits right here on two pieces, this piece and another piece that has slits like this and then there's slits the opposite way going uh, on the other ones, on two other pieces. And I just have to slap them together and I have myself a pot stand. The um, good thing about this pot stand is I can use it for alcohol stoves or I can use it for, um, if I had to, I could leave it open like I do now and I could feed it with a fire or yeah, fire feed it and be able to put sticks and whatnot in it. Here's a good look of what it looks like. Holes on the last piece because I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with it. Whether I wanted to leave it, uh, like cut a hole, just one hole in it, or go ahead and finish it off like these right here. Three minutes and twenty nine seconds. Oh crap, I didn't even put the lid on. And I'm thinking since I don't have this right here, 
package here. I will for a minute. Still kind of see it. But, yeah, we'll do that. But, uh, just to block some of the heat, because I think I'm pretty sure some of the heat's escaped. I have pretty good burn time. I got really good burn time with this one, but I think a lot of the heat might be escaping due to, huh? I guess not. Unless it's standard. It's not really hot right here. Not quite yet. Hopefully this bad boy doesn't run out of fuel. Again, if you uh, if you know how much one of these uh, little tea lights holds, because I've been using this to kind of gauge how much I put in my stoves for like tests and stuff. Please let me know. Um, I know there's some stoves that burn with an ounce, half ounces, but, yeah. Come on, boil. And we got a boil. Six minutes and twenty seconds. There's that stove. Six minutes, twenty seconds. Pretty good. Looks like it's almost out of fuel. And uh, one of my last stove, the uh, the Mini T, it used roughly a half or one of these, and uh, it burnt for like 12 minutes. But the hole wasn't as big, and it took 12 minutes for uh, the water to even boil. So this is one cup of water and however much fits in there. So I don't know how efficient it is. I mean it's okay efficient I would say. But, but yeah there you guys go. Uh, there's that. I have yet to name it. But, uh, I'm going to make this is just a prototype of this one. I'm actually going to Hopefully, make some more, and, yep, until then, you guys have a good one, and take care.